We're back on Patriot League All Access, chatting with all the head volleyball coaches in the Patriot League, and on with us now, uh, starting her 22nd year at Bucknell University, is Coach Cindy Opowski. Coach, appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time to chat with us today. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Great to talk to you. Uh, as I mentioned, you are entering your 22nd season in uh, Lewisburg, and the first question I have for you is since you have been coaching in the Patriot League for the entire duration of the league's existence, since it is uh, itself entering its 22nd season, just your overall thoughts and impressions as to how the Patriot League has evolved since uh, the time that it came together in 1990 up to the point where we're at now heading into 2011. Well, we've seen... Uh, clearly uh, a whole bunch of coaching changes and this year especially um, we've seen some really wonderful people step into coaching positions in the league and um, over the course of the last several years we've seen great parity I think from top to bottom everybody seemed to have gotten more competitive um, stronger performances better athletes and it's created a real good competitive league and um, now it's not something that's um, just kind of poo-pooed, but it's looked at in the regional polls, and Americans done a great job jumping into those regional polls and establishing really all of our teams on a national basis. So it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, as, I, as I said, you've been at Bucknell for many years now, and, and you're entering year number 22 there. What makes Bucknell such a special place to coach and to, to mentor and to teach young student-athletes? Why stay there as long as you have, and what makes it such a special place? You know, when I uh, first started coaching here, I was going to try to move back up to New England, which is my home. And um, I came here with uh, full intentions of staying only a few years, but Bucknell is a wonderful place. There's a, there's a tremendous priority for the student-athlete. Uh, we talk about role model. We talk about behavior. We talk about academic success. And our athletes are, are very much um, integrated into a system here where their academic performance is supported. Um, it's prioritized. And we can have a great competitive volleyball program and, and, and 26 or 7 other sports as well. But um, I think the way we do things here um, and our concern for the welfare of the student-athlete and, and that prioritization is something that's really um, motivated me and kept me here for many years. Uh, your preseason camp just opened a few days ago. Uh, what are some of the things that you look to achieve, especially in the early days of camp? What are some of the things that you're looking for from your student-athletes now that they're back on campus and they've just begun uh, practice for the, the first time for, uh, in the first four or five days of preseason, really uh, getting out there and practicing for the first time since everybody's been back together since probably the spring? Well, it's a little bit about quality, and it's, it's uh, a lot about uh, quantity. We have a great group. We have uh, 19 folks that have come back in terrific shape. Um, four new freshmen that are being integrated into our offensive and defensive systems. Um, some seniors that are pretty hungry. They haven't played in a, a championship game in a couple years, although we've made it to the final four uh, of the Patriot League championship pretty consistently over the last several years. Um, they want that little cup here in, in uh, Davis Gym to, to bring one home. So I think the energy is good. The enthusiasm is good. Um, we're trying to get some technical things um, kind of put on the table and ironed out and uh, some, uh, establish some offensive and defensive systems that will really, I think, in, in my brain, uh, find the, our true potential in all our players. Uh, you mentioned you have some freshmen in camp uh, of your recruits that you're bringing in for this season, their first of uh, four seasons uh, in Lewisburg. What were some of the uh, the needs and uh, some of the things you wanted to address with the incoming freshmen that you have joining the program this season? Great question. Um, we, we just wanted to bring in some really good athletes. We think that we have good depth in every position, um, but between um, the four people that come in, they all play different positions. Um, they all have great experiences. Uh, Amanda Hall's team, um, her 18 and under team won the national championship for USCBA, so she comes with a plethora of experience. Uh, we've got a gal out of Estonia that um, has just played internationally and has seen a lot of really competitive volleyball experiences. Um, Morgan Markarian, a defensive player um, out of California, brings us great ball control. She's a really good server. And um, I think, you know, when you have that kind of uh, basis 
it, it really it really is kind of an exciting thing to to grow and to you know improve on. Um, since you've been at Bucknell for so long and you've been coaching obviously for so long, um, talk a little bit about just the, the feeling that you get. Uh, a lot of coaches talk about getting the butterflies, you know, during the summer before they get ready for the fall season. Uh, talk a little bit about what just keeps you going. You know, what gets you out of bed every morning to coach? What what is it that drives you to continue day in and day out, year in and year out, to get up and to coach these student athletes for as long as you have? Well, I think the quality of our student athletes, number one, and I, I neglected to mention Sarah Morris out of Atlanta in my incoming freshman group with the right side player, great kid good energy, good enthusiasm. But, you know, when you have quality student-athletes, they're the ones that, that really get, get you know, things churning. I woke up uh, first day of preseason and was kind of laying in bed counting counting the hours and then looked at the clock. You know, it was 4 o'clock, it was 5 o'clock, it was 6 o'clock, and I'm like, gosh, dang, I wish, I wish you know, this clock would go a little faster so we got to get to the gym. And I ended up getting here about three hours early, as typically I do. So, you know... It just it's just an exciting time. Um, I uh, often talk with my friends and my family about missing every fall for about 25 years now. Not really sure that the leaves change, and not really sure that uh, you know um, there's a Labor Day weekend where we're entrenched in volleyball. But uh, you know it's a it's a it's a great sport. It's a excellent sport for female athletes. It's uh, not not so th- much comparison to a- any other male sport, but you know, except the sport of volleyball. But it's a unique sport upon itself, and um, one that's just really exciting to watch. We've noticed over the course of the last uh, four or five years here in Lewisburg that our attendance numbers have almost doubled. Um, people are starting to come out and watch the sport, and they love it. And there's a lot a lot of exposure on TV. And uh, just makes for for good things. We have a quality group of uh, coaches here at the university. They're they're pretty motivational, and uh, we have an outstanding administration that uh, motivates us to do the best we possibly can. So, with all those things in line. Um, pretty easy to get fired up for a new season. Well, with the new season 2011 coming up, you have the usual complement of non-league tournaments. You have four, including two, in which uh, you'll be hosting uh, in Lewisburg. What's your philosophy when it comes to putting together your non-conference schedule? What are some of the things you hope to achieve when you put together that slate before you get into Patriot League play? Well, every year um, we try to get teams that are going to really push us in the preseason and uh, competition. We don't want to get folks that we're so in, so much intent on winning our tournament or going to a tournament and winning. We want to get a competitive level that's higher than what we will see in the Patriot League or equal to. And um, that's been our, our uh, MO for a few years now. We we try to get out west or get out of the region every other year. This is the year we stay home. So we said if we're going to be uh, if we're going to be here on the East Coast, let's let's host not only one tournament, but two tournaments. So we've got some strong teams coming in, um, some Ivy teams coming in, and um, I think that smathering of, of playing against good competition early on will well prepare us for Patriot League play. Cindy Opowski is the head volleyball coach at Bucknell University, joining us now on Patriot League All Access. Coach, thank you very much for taking a few minutes out of your very busy preseason schedule. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you down the road. Ah, you're welcome. Uh, Go Bison. We're ready. We're after it.